I have an Intex cordless air pump that's used for pumping sporting equipment like boats, kayaks, swimming pools and whatnot. But the problem is it uses C type alkaline batteries. I don't have C batteries, nor do we have a need to buy one actually. It needs six C batteries in here to run. These batteries are not cheap. I have some USB power bank and it should be good enough to run this pump. So today we'll show you how to power this pump using a USB power bank. Or if you have some 18650s laying around, you can also use these to power this pump. So let's get started. Okay, so first let's take a look at the specs of this pump. It requires 6C batteries and it runs at 4.5 volts DC. I was a little bit puzzled at first because I just keep assuming that uh, six alkaline batteries if you put in series will be nine volts but this thing says four and a half volts but uh, I just realized that they are two in parallel and three in series so 3S2P configuration let's take a look at the inside of the pump so this is where you put the six C batteries this is the motor right in the middle and it's got two wires coming out actually one wire and then a metal clip coming out so this metal clip here comes straight to the battery on the other side the black wire goes out and up to the switch where you can turn on and off the unit and this is actually the positive terminal this is the negative terminal of the motor I got a rough drawing here to show you how this unit is being wired together. We got the top and the bottom. So this is the top. It's got three metal clips. And the bottom has got three metal clips. Right here. And the dotted line represents the battery. So we got battery number one, number two, number three, number four number five here and number six so when you fold the lid down it's gonna be connected like this let me zoom in here and the switch is right here which is right here and these are the terminal so positive terminal here two positive terminal here negative positive negative positive and this is what it looks like on the bottom and to make it easier to understand I draw the battery down here so this is how the batteries are connected okay so one two three four five six five six batteries and then I rearrange the batteries to make it easier to see in a diagram so it looks more continuous this one looks a bit awkward so here we have number two four and three connected in series and five six and one connected in series and then each of the three packs is four and a half volts and then they are all connected in parallel and go to the switch so now we know that it runs on four and a half volts. All we have to do is connect any four and a half volt power source or even five volts power source to the terminal of the motors right here. And you can be able to run the, the unit. It uh, doesn't have to have C batteries. I have this wrap power power bank and in inside this unit there are five eighteen six fifty cells in parallel and it should be powerful enough to run this unit I modified this unit a while back to have an external cable coming out so I just saw the a cable to the battery pack and uh, here we have an XD60 connector and uh, we got let's see how many volts we got here 4.2 volts it's uh, full so at this voltage it should be good enough to run the pump 
So what I have to do now is to solder a connector, a cable with a connector going out of the unit so I can plug in my power bank right here and should be able to run the pump. Right, so I think I'm done. Let me show you what I've got here. Solder my XT60 connector. The positive wire goes to the switch. So this this goes to the wire and that wire goes to that switch. I can just solder this wire directly onto the motor. But I want to use the switch so that I can still able to turn on and off the motor. The negative wire goes straight to the motor. I got rid of this metal tap here. It's very thin and it's very flimsy. This motor runs at very high current. So I'm not sure if this can be able to handle the current. So I got rid of it and soldered the wire directly on the motor. I got rid of the plastic cover of the motor because it's kind of on the way. And that's it. Very simple. So I can still be able to close the lid. Looks nice and neat. Let's plug it in and try it. Here we go. Got my fluke meter here connected. So I'll show you how many amp this motor is going to pull. Plug it in. So it goes to the switch. So when I plug it in, it doesn't turn on until I flip the switch. Let me re zero the amp meter. All right. Ready? So as you can see, it runs at 17 amp continuous. When it first started, it ran at 20 amp. So that's why I have to use thick wire in order to handle the current. Let me show you the inside of my USB power bank. It's got 5 18 650 cells. Each cell is capable of handling around 3 to 4 amp. So I'm reaching the maximum capacity of my power bank here. So, um, if you want to run a USB power bank, you're going to need to have at least five or six cells. This is another RAF power power bank that I have. It originally had six cells in it. You can see from here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, this one is uh, probably better than this. That's because these cells here, they are not high current cells. They're not high discharge cell. The maximum discharge rate is around 3 to 4 amp. Maximum. However, not all power banks are created equal. This is an anchor power bank and it has 8 cells in it. 8 18650 cells in it. I already removed the cells by the way. But I wrote a note to myself so I can remember. This is in a 2S4P configuration. So they are not all in parallel. This is actually 7.4 volts instead of 3.7 volts as the RAF power. So this one cannot be used to run this. Right, so let's try the real thing here. I've got a boat here that I use to cross the Pacific Ocean. And it usually takes me about two days to pump by hand. I'm just kidding. Let's try and pump it with this pump and see how long it takes. Got a timer here on my phone. See how long it takes.
here we go one minute and 20 seconds maybe a bit less because uh, it took me some time to prepare the pump but uh, a lot less time compared to pumping by hand so that I can save my energy and time for fun instead of sweating pumping this boat by hand so there you go if you want to escape Alcatraz Island from San Francisco this will get you out of prison in no time at all I can also use this to clean the dust off my computer I can also use this to dry my hair too actually it works but it's a bit cold that's all for now thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video